Artem Markov produced a master class performance in the FIA Formula 2 Championship feature race at the Circuit de Monaco, as the Russian time driver weathered drama and a pair of safety car periods to secure victory by 10.7 seconds over Sean Jello. The Prima driver took advantage of the alternate strategy to take second, as Roberto Murhi did likewise to grab the final podium place available. 19 cars took to the grid after Sergio said Camara was ruled unfit to start following his incident in Thursday's qualifying session. In a hot, humid Monte Carlo, the race was put on ice almost immediately after the start, the safety car was brought out after Luca Giotto was helped into the wall by Antonio Fuoco off the line, as pole sitter Alexander Albin preserved his lead of the race from NYCK de Vries and Mark Oliv. Once Giotto's stricken Campos Vexatic racing car was cleared, Albin dictated the restart to remain ahead of De Vries, while Markolev was left to fend off from Arjun Mani after Fuoco was quickly handed a drive-through penalty. De Vries began to throw the kitchen sink at Albin, before yellow flags flooded the Raskus hairpin for George Russell, who hit the wall having botched an overtake on Nire Fukuzumi. With the threat of a safety car, which remained off track after the Art Grand Prix car was quickly put out of harm's way the super soft runners began to filter into the pits, Lando Norris, Jello, Luis de la Traz and Murphy peppering the pit lane with stops for soft tires. Norris then brought out a second safety car on lap 13, attempting an overtake on Ralph Bushung at the Anthony Nogue's corner and bundling the Swiss driver into the wall, Norris earning a drive through as a result. Subsequently, leading pair Albin and De Vries both attempted to pit under the safety car, the two found the pit lane entry too tight for both cars and collided, Albin ending up facing the wrong direction and De Vries sustaining damage. The end of the safety car period shuffled Markluff to the front of the field, and he began to fire in a series of hot laps to build a gap over Maney. De Vries the lead runner to have completed their mandatory stop lost 8th to teammate Jello before hemorrhaging a further raft of positions, the Dutchman calling it a day after 20 tours of the circuit. This left Jello as Mark Love's benchmark as he sought to build a gap ahead of his own pit stop. Dropping the hammer, Markolev had preserved sufficient life in his soft tires to open the gap up to Jello, eking out as much time as possible to complete his stop. Behind him, Fuoko, Aitken and Fukuzumi all blinked first, pitting while Markluff was setting further hot laps. With his lapped teammate Tadasuke Makino looming larger in his sights, Markluff came in for super softs at the end of lap 34, crucially emerging ahead of Jalil. Jalil had soon slashed the deficit to two seconds as Markluff needed time to bring his tires up to temperature, but the Russian soon took advantage of his softer compound rubber to light the timing boards up with best sectors, opening up his advantage to cross the line with a 10.7s advantage over the Indonesian. Having also pit before the safety car on the alternate strategy, Murphy capped off a well-managed drive to clinch third, he and Jello claiming their first F2 podium finishes. Having also benefited from the option prime strategy, Luis Delatraz swept home in fourth for his first points of the season, while Maney emerged ahead of Norris after his stop to grab fifth. Jack Aitken was seventh, while Fuoco recovered from his drive through to eighth. Nicholas Latifi, having stopped the latest of anyone, clinched ninth from the final row of the grid, while Fukuzumi beat BWTR and teammate Maximilian Gunn third to tenth. Fuoco will start tomorrow's sprint race from 8th position and, without mandatory pit stops to make, drivers will undoubtedly have to take more risks to progress through the field. With the streets of Monaco keen to punish this latest mistake, Saturday's race promises to be just as exciting. <laughs>